Hello everybody, welcome to another exchange in Azure video. My name is Ed um, and we're continuing with part 4. In the first section of part 4 we installed the PowerShell prerequisites and I had to reboot the server. So in this video it's going to be a short video which will be part B as well. Um, we're going to install .NET Framework 4.7.2 reboot and then the last part will be part C, we'll do the unified communications and uh, the Visual C++ 2012 and 2013. So the first thing to do is obviously with the downloads is I always go and check that there's nothing blocked here, I've taken the block off already and then when you run this you run it as administrator. So the installations, um, this one or 4.8 um, which we'll obviously do in the 2019 side it's pretty quick. Um, it looks like it gets stuck and then it just carries on going. So this video is primarily focused on .NET 4.7.2 because it's going to ask us to reboot in any way after installation completes. So what it does is it actually pre prepares the cap files. Um, you can see it goes through quite quickly after that. Depending on the speed of your machine, uh, obviously if your machine's a monster that's got 96 gigs of RAM or whatever the case, uh, these installs are, are pretty quick. So <clears throat> it should be starting now with a splash screen. Here we go. <clears throat> so obviously on this machine it has already been installed and patched. Um, this machine is in Azure but it is obviously a requirement so we're not going to obviously then continue with this, then we're going to continue with the next set of um, installs, which is the UCMA runtime. So right click, run as administrator, and it will then pretty much kind of like the other one prepares files, has to copy files, etc., to get the setup to go. And we should see the splash screen, and then there you go. And this is pretty much a very quick installation. You ha have to accept the license terms. And then it should pretty much be done. Takes a couple of seconds to finish. Again, this is obviously as fast as the machine is. My machine only has a couple of gigs of RAM, which is more than enough for a lab. It doesn't have to be a monster to run a lab machine and to do testing. And then once this is done, we're going to basically move, <coughs> sorry, along to Visual C++. So we're almost done. So while we wait for that, uh, the Exchange installation that we're going to do, um, I'm going to run the GUI installation for you on 2013, and I'm going to run the command line installation on the 2019 side for you. So people that are new to this, can get a feel for what it looks like GUI installation versus um, command line installation. So as you can see this is complete. We're now going to start with the first um, Visual C++, accept the license terms, installation successful and then we will do the second one. You can see this is a 2012 version. Notice that I've done the x64 on both. I haven't mixed and matched versions. I've stuck to the 64-bit version. Right, so we are pretty much done with our prerequisites at this point. I'm going to reboot and then in part C now we will come and install Exchange 2013. See you in the next part. Thank you very much for watching.